835 right now. A favorite exhibit is back at Pearl Ridge Center, and we're giving you a sneak peek. Dallas Ontiveros rejoins us live as he's spreading with his wings with his new friends. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christine and Ross. It is such a fun time here at Monarchs and More Exhibit here at Pearlwood Center. And of course, um, I got some special guests on me. Some of them have been longer than five minutes, especially this guy right here on my nose. He's been on my nose for about 30 minutes since we last uh, went live. And yeah, he's just chilling there. But of course, we do have some human friends as well. This is Krista, Brooke, and Adam. Good morning, you three. How's it going? Good morning. And this is um, probably one of your first time. This is your first time here at the exhibit, or you've been here before? We've been here before a couple years ago. And what do your kids most love about it? The interactive experience. Yeah. They get to touch the butterflies and carry them around. It's so neat. I mean, from Keiki, as small as these two, to us adults my age, it's just such an experience that you got to try here at Pearlwood Center. Darlene, you've been running around everywhere grabbing all these different butterflies. How cool is it for you just to see all types of ages come through here? You know, the kids are, just have so much fun and just learning about how important the butterflies are, you know, that's priceless. And the Kamehameha butterfly is going to make a special appearance this Saturday, but you have to take a look at this section over here because these are white monarch butterflies. Darlene, could you tell us on why these butterflies are just so rare? This is the first time I've actually seen a white monarch butterfly. Let's see if we can pull one out really quick. Can, what, what makes them so rare? They are, they have a recessive gene. Okay. So oh, this wow. is, if you look. Oh, that's a really cool comparison. Yes. Okay. So and this is a female, this is a male, but you see how much whiter mm -hmm. she is. Mm -hmm. So it is a recessive gene. Um, I get uh, white butterflies maybe three or every three or four years. We have 10 in the house this year. Very cool. And how can you tell if they're boys or girls? Because they have, the boys are much more orange and they have two dots on the bottom of their wings and the girls are more bland. So think of a peacock. Mm -hmm. The boys are beautiful and the girls are brown. Oh, okay. Well, that's, so that's the way it is in nature too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that makes sense. Okay, very cool. So she's just going to set that white monarch butterfly in its little home right there. And something else that Monarchs and More does is uh, special events like what? Weddings, birthdays. Tell yeah. us how that works. So you can do uh, butterfly releases uh, through mass uh, in a basket or through individual envelopes. And I also have a mobile, um, a smaller version of the house that we bring to parties. And if anyone would like to follow up with you on social media, where can they find you? SharingTheButterflyExperience.com SharingTheButterflyExperience.com Well, this looks really great. Well, if you all want some more details about Monarchs and more, visit our website at KHON2.com, but you can just see it's a fun time over here. <laughs> Reporting over here at Pearlwood Center, Dallas Anaveros, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. I don't know if Dallas knows, but he has something, a little something on his nose right there. He has a forever friend because that butterfly has been on his nose forever. I mean, since over half an hour. He must be really sweet. Mm. <laughs> Coming up next on Take Two, trying to beat the heat this weekend? How about